Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I'm doing a quick Windows tip on saving disk space. Basically, if you've installed a service pack update like I did here in Windows 7, I have the service pack 1, I have about 188 gigs free, but I could actually save more space. And this is the same thing for XP or Vista, right? There's a utility built in, I've talked about this before, called the disk cleanup. Okay, disk cleanup. So you type disk cleanup here in the search field in Windows 7 or in Vista. Up comes the disk cleanup. Click on that, and then it will give you a list of uh, stuff there, check boxes that you can select what you want to delete from. What I'm talking about today is the service pack backup files. Check that off. I'm saving 640 megs right off the bat with that, and also the temporary files there. Check that off, and I'm saving another 4 gigs. So, total of 5 gigs here, over 5 gigs of space that I'm saving. A lot of people take this for granted, they never bother going in here. Yeah, yeah, they think they, they've got enough space. But look, you, I mean, maybe you've got a small hard drive and you can save easily a couple gigs. So go ahead and do this if you haven't done it already after you've applied a service pack update. Don't do it immediately after you apply the service pack update. Wait for a while, make sure things are running smoothly. And uh, if they are, then there's no need to keep these backup files. Go ahead and delete them. Okay? And, uh, and hey, you'll free up a couple gig. It depends on the machine, right? Not everybody has the same machine or operating system so the amount of space that you can save varies. Try it out, comment below, let me know how much space you saved after uh, you've done this and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.